So today I'm back in the shop working on a little bit more of the audio system that I was putting together and I never really got the subwoofer placed because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be doing with the goose gear setup and how that was going to affect the overall placement. So today I'm looking at the placement of the HS10 which is the hideaway kicker 360 watt subwoofer and where to put it. And in actually placing it today I found a cool little thing here about where it does fit. It's actually very uninvasive and it's going to allow me to put the rest of the amplifiers and things out of the way. So here, take a look. The front cubby here basically gives you a nice spot for, uh, this is a four channel amplifier I'm going to be using for the components and as well the rear speakers. I do have the additional set of speakers I've placed up front and in the uh, front corners by the tweeters and the factory position and I will have another key amplifier I'm going to mount here. But this is the interesting part. Take a look at this. The HS10 actually fits just underneath the lip of the Goose Gear front panel and sits right against the floor. Uh, it's actually quite sturdy. There is no movement or anything that you can see. But the best part, if you look at the bolts here, I've simply had to place a washer on either side, but the bolt pattern uh, for the mounting bolts for this panel from Goose Gear are actually identical to what shows up on the actual brackets from Kicker. So if you're entertaining the idea of using the Goose Gear rear seat delete here and you want to put a subwoofer in, we have got a nice mount area and furthermore if you put the seat all the way into the back position you'll notice that there's still about a finger space with the room there and basically the speaker will be firing right to the back of the seat but no issues whatsoever with clearance and if you saw the front or kind of paid attention when we saw that front again you'll notice that the front of the speaker grill has a heavy metal grate and that grate in case you want to store something still back here have space is obviously enough to keep anything from puncturing the front of the speaker so just a pretty cool little mounting solution if you are looking to add a subwoofer if you don't have the Bose system or if you're taking the Bose system out for some kind of aftermarket head unit if you're going with Goose Gear and you're also going to use a kicker hideaway there's a nice little spot here in the back that makes them both work together